you're back. Ben found some stickers in a drawer, and I put them on my walkie. Hey, sweet pea. That's neat. I'll find you in a minute. Looks like we got the kid on watch again. What'd you get? We might as well leave a sign out that says the men are gone. Come and rape our women and children. Ha. Huh. So, what did you get? A lot of stuff. We're fine, by the way. Nice work. This will keep us going. If we carry on like this, we'll get through the winter here. The winter? We'll freeze our asses off here! Because piling into an RV with you, after what you did to my dad, is so appealing. Why wouldn't it be? You know I'll do what it takes to keep everyone safe. This place is fine, Kenny. I know we gotta go eventually. At it again, are we? Can it, Carly. Don't boss people around. I'm sorry. Everything can't come down to the same disagreement. Lily's concerns are valid, you know. Of course you think they are. God damn it, I'm not on anyone's side, Kenny. This is about everyone. What about the food situation? What about protection? What about when this place falls? Somebody's got to be thinking about this shit. How has this not been working? We have everything we need. Because of me, Lily. No, because Lee knows how to take care of people, not just things. We got all the protection we need. And when 15 bandits hop over that wall in the middle of the night? They won't be going back over. Everything that happens to us is another excuse for you to pull this crap about leaving. All I want is a week of peace, of not hearing it. We wouldn't even be fighting about our medicine and supply stocks if Lee hadn't fucked up downtown. What do you mean? Some girl came screaming out of an alley. She had dead hanging all over her. She was making enough noise that we would have had plenty of time to get what we needed. Instead, smart guy shot her. He what? He put her out of her misery. Stupid. It was a mistake. You bet your ass it was. Y'all should be giving Lee hell for not doing what needed to be done. It's not so easy for him. Look, Macon and its people aren't savable. It's not a town. It's full of walkers. And the people who were left are dying and wandering out onto the streets. It's hell on earth. And it's coming. This way. It's not going to be easier out on the road! How would you know? What I know? I know you're not above murder. I know somebody has been stealing our supplies. That's right, stealing. And I know the list of people I can trust here gets smaller every day. Now everybody get out. Happy, Kenny? My family's alive and that RV is running. You goddamn right I am. Everyone is under great stress. All I know is, whenever this shit happens, I'm the fucking bad guy. I'd like a thank you for once. For once! Ooh, things are coming to a head. You could say that. Well, I think you did good today. And I find myself thinking that most days. Thanks. It's probably worth following up with Lily about what she was saying about missing supplies. With her wound up the way she is, I don't want to see her paranoid. No question. And I'd like to talk when you've got a minute. Talk to Lily yet? No, not yet. I will. What I wanted to say was, I've been thinking a lot about you. I'm fine. Don't brood. I know you're fine. You're a convicted killer. Carly, Jesus. And I think people should know. Not because they deserve to, and not because you're a bad man. I think the opposite of those two things. People need to know because we're hanging by a thread here, and I can't see Lily talk about you without thinking it's the next thing she's going to say. You don't have to tell everyone, 
But think about who you trust and take the opportunity while you have it. Forget it. I have. You should too. Larry's gone, but he knew. If he didn't tell Lily outright, he probably said enough to make her wonder. I'll tell you what I would tell anybody, apocalypse or not. There comes a time when you can get out ahead of something like this and discuss it on your terms. Do it before that chance is taken away. I'll let people know. You're totally right. Good. I think it's for the best. Try not to play stoic. It makes your forehead crinkle. Now, is there anything else you want to talk about? Do you feel safe here? Show me a bath with a heated floor and a high-rise apartment and hand me a full-bodied Malbec and then I'll feel safe. I don't know, this place is fine, but we all know that that could change at any second. You really think people are ready to hear about me? It's not a matter of ready or not. There's never going to be a good time, but there are going to be a lot of bad ones. Right now doesn't seem like one of them. But everyone's different. Who knows how each person would take it, you know? Maybe it's worth thinking about who you want to tell. You, uh, have any thoughts about Lily? I worry about her, that's about it. She keeps trying to run things, but it's just not working. I'm gonna look into this thing. Good idea. I'm sorry. You don't have to apologize. Did you come in here to give me hell or to coddle me? You have to chill out. I know. I'm trying. I'm trying. I just... I feel like a crazy person. Can I do anything for you? Yes. I need help. There's a traitor. Somebody. One of us. Out there. He or she or they have been taking things. You haven't really been sleeping. Don't start in on that. You've been through a trauma. And you're not taking care of yourself counts off and it's the good stuff. Antibiotics, oxy, fuck, anything with opium in it. I see the count, and it's fine. I keep my own. That one's getting messed with. I'm a fucking mess right now, but I'm not stupid. I know what happens if I start a witch hunt. So you want me to start one? I want you to poke around. What's there to go on? I found this tossed into the garbage. Hmm. Huh. We don't toss out equipment, we fix it. You'd only try to get rid of a flashlight if you were using it when you shouldn't. It's just a few things, it's not a big deal. Bullshit, it's not. You know it is, and I'd really appreciate the help. A mystery. Jesus, Doc. I'm sorry. Um, I heard you guys talking. You need to unhear all of that. Can I help? What did I just say? You're the Grace Detective, and I can be Dick Grayson, your ward. That's Robin. I know who it is. Okay, you're Robin. Yes. What do I do? I, I don't know. Go look around. Let me know if you find anything weird. I'm on the case. Sounds like Kenny actually has that thing running. I'll believe it when I see it. Hmm. 
Zack. A clue. Maybe. What do you think it is? I don't think it's anything. Maybe it's a sign. It could be. It's pink chalk, which is weird. Okay, back to investigating. Hey, Ben, I need a piece of chalk. You know where I can get any? Why would I have any? Just asking around. Well, I don't play with that stuff. I've got my... well, my thoughts, and I've been reading the Bible I found in my room. That's what it's there for. Have you seen any chalk around? Ah, uh, yes. Clementine loves to draw with it. Yeah, of course. I'll talk to her. Hey, you two. How are you doing? We're okay. Just having a little spat. We all carry guns now, and I don't like it. It's the way it's gotta be. I know, but I'm not getting used to it. I'm sorry. How are you, Lee? About the guns. Don't you start. I just wanted to say, Cat, it's probably good they make you uncomfortable. Thank you, Lee. <sighs> but we need them. There's no doubt about that. Kenny, you got a second? I need to tell you something. Yeah? What do you got? It's serious. Okay, should I sit down? Come on. I was, uh, on my way to prison three months ago. No shit. No shit. Wasn't for touching kids, was it? No, it wasn't. Because we got two here. I killed a guy in a fight. Should I be worried there's anything else in your past that's gonna come out? No. Good. But you should know, if we gotta make numbers when it comes to a boat, this is gonna matter. Hi, guys. Can I talk to you about something? Sure. Is everything okay? I was, uh, on my way to prison three months ago. You've always looked at me with kind eyes. I wonder if you could still do that if you, uh, knew I was a convicted felon. My goodness, for what? How much trouble can a teacher get into? Well, plenty. But it had nothing to do with that. It was for murder. Why? He and my wife, uh... That's were... enough. Tell me what happened when you were locked in the fridge at the dairy. I was given Larry CPR with Lily. Kenny came in from out of nowhere and put a stop to it. What did he do? He smashed his head in. <gasps> gotcha. Everything keeps changing. Hey, Clementine. Hey, Lee. Do, uh, you have any pink chalk? No, it's gone somewhere. Hmm. Do you want blue? No, no, it's okay. Psst. Lee. I found something. What is it? I found this piece of pink chalk and a scuff of it over by the gate. 
Really? Totally. I was calling the scene for clues Yeah, and... Duck, I got it. Good job. You didn't break the flashlight, did you, Duck? No. Mom and Dad won't let me touch any of their stuff. Lily neither. That's probably for the best. Mm. Somebody was over here, too. See? I did good, huh? Yeah, Duck. You did. I suppose I should go out there and look around. You stay here this time. Seriously. Okay. Those bandits gave us help, but they've been quiet for days now. Still the safest place for us. You haven't come up with anything, have you? I came up with this. It's got a bunch of meds in it. It was in a grate on the outside wall. And there's a sign on the other one. Holy fuck. Yeah. Okay, we line everybody up. Everybody. Somebody is killing us. Stealing from that supply is the same as slipping into your room at night and cutting your throat while you sleep. You die. What is the difference? What if Clementine gets sick and we don't have what we need? What the hell? You don't fucking steal from us! Who the fuck is that? Yo, we got our people out there! Out we ain't fucking around! What do we do? Oh, Lily. shit! They're gonna start kicking indoors any second. Lily, what the hell are you- Stall him. What? Just keep him talking. Do whatever it takes to stop him pulling the trigger. You made the biggest mistake of your life! <sighs> Shit. Enough of this bullshit! Drew, stop putting your boot to these doors! Yeah! Hold it, asshole! Take it easy. We have more supplies. We can keep the deal going. Too late, shithead! We ain't given second chances. It, it was a mix-up. We'll make it worth your while. I'm listening. What will it take to reach a deal? About twice as much as you've been giving us. You got it. Done. Is that so? Well, I suppose we ought to hash out some terms then. I don't like no hash. Man, shut up, bro! Christ! Oh, shit! Uh. Uh.
Doctor! Hang on! Where is he? He's hiding behind that van! Get your asses around behind! Hang on! Where is he? He's hiding behind that van! Get your asses around behind! Come on! Cliff, get inside the RV! It's gonna be okay! Go! Oh, oh crap! Let me get in the RV! Screw her! Let her stay! Last chance, get down here! Cat, Jesus, are you okay? I'm fine, I'm fine! Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit! I'm sorry. Everything's fine, Everything's ben. not fine. We need to figure out how this happened. We just lost everything. Well, we're lucky as shit to have this RV. And nobody died. Cat's head is split I'm open. I'm fine. Somebody in here caused this. Settle down back there. The bandits have had our number for weeks. This is different. Somebody was working with them. Whoever it was was slipping them our meds. They didn't get their last package, so they attacked. Calm down back there. That's nuts. Lee found a bag of supplies hidden outside the wall. It's true. So, Carly, is there something you want to say? Please. We have to get it out of you then. Back off. You are in no position to make demands. Whoa, 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 you're just pointing fingers. I didn't just come up with this. I've had my suspicions. Why her? It seems like a stab in the dark, Lily. She's always so eager to see what supplies we found. She never talks about her family. She could be related to those bastards for all we know. Whoa! My family's not a bunch of meth-riddled forest people. They're fucking Lutheran! You're not saying it wasn't you. It wasn't me. Like, look, maybe we should vote or something like that. Vote? What? Just look! Carly's a stand-up gal and maybe this was all just a mis- Guys, we have to act now. I know it sounds nuts, but we have a traitor here. Do you guys get that? Someone who puts their insidious shit above everyone else. Thank you, Lee. Nobody was stealing anything! Was it both of you? What? I've seen you two together. Was it both of you? Look, just let me out. I didn't do it, but I don't like this. I don't like where it's headed. Look me in the eyes and tell me you didn't have anything to do with it. Lily, lay off of him. I... <laughs> Shit. What's going on up there? I hit something. We gotta stop. Alright, well, we can deal with this now then. 